Now then guys, what's going on? This is Yoki here and welcome to a new series on the channel. We are going to be taking over the task of Newcastle. Why I chose Newcastle was simply because this is kind of a once in a lifetime opportunity, right? That Newcastle get taken over. They got all this money and we're going to be able to see what we can create. And the whole idea behind this one is to try and achieve what Man City did, but quicker potentially with Newcastle. Now it took Man City four seasons to win the Premiership. We're going to try and do it hopefully in free and potentially go on and win the Champions League as well this team which man city have yet to do but again this is just a once in a lifetime kind of opportunity we're not going to see these kind of takeovers happen all so often and i remember when it happened at man city seeing the crazy turnaround of players as they try to build a squad to win it all basically now we're going to have some roles in place i'm not just going to go out there and sign Haaland and mbappe of course i've got an absolutely massive budget but kind of at least in the first season probably the second season i'm going to build this team as i think newcastle should do in real life and i'm also going to build it with players that they've been linked to in real life no matter how much truth there is to those links that's all i can really go off because at this stage we don't know what the pulling power will be for newcastle to make it a bit more interesting i have simmed half a season and got us into january i could have simmed until the date it is now but i thought let's just start in january and move it that far forward steve bruce has been sacked Yorkie man comes in let's take a look at where steve bruce has got us so far in the league of course half a season has gone which makes this more interesting for me there is a bill we got a bill, boys, because apparently this new ownership have got ridiculous amount of money. So I thought a bill made more sense. I'm not going to just go out and spend a bill, but it's in the bank for if we ever need it. Now, suggestions on transfers, feel free to give me them in the comments section. The pace of this one will be a lot quicker than the Spurs series. And of course, the Spurs series will not be impacted whatsoever by this one. I just thought it'd be a fun little mini series for us to do. And I know a few people probably will do this as well, but... I don't care. I'm going to have fun with this one. Now, if you are new around here, though, please make sure to smash that subscribe button. I'd massively appreciate that, as well as hitting the like button on the video so more people get to see this. Now, Steve Bruce has led us to what position in the... Oh, we are in trouble. No wonder the manager rating was so bad. We are in trouble. Newcastle with just a tiny three wins this season. Six draws and 11 defeats. We've conceded 42 goals and are on 15 points. Just a point off of Burnley but we are in the relegation zone. Now, we need to climb the table as much as possible this season. It doesn't take into account the budget, but I imagine if we're going to spend a lot of money that the board would at least expect us to be pushing towards mid-table by the end of this season, considering the position we find ourselves in now. Let's just take a cheeky look then and see how the squad's been getting on so far. But to be honest, I'm ready to rip this team apart and transform it into a team that is definitely mid-table. I'm not sure we'll play the formation we're already playing. We'll probably play it for the first game that we take over, uh, just simply because we've got the personnel for it. Now, it is January, so a statement signing will definitely be made, as well as bringing in a few others, probably around six players in this window. Uh, I don't want to go too mad, because we have to try and play it as realistically as possible. That's what I'm going to try and do anyway. And, uh, and we're going to have to try and move as many players out as humanly possible, but... That's easier said than done. This squad is a little bit bloated in positions that aren't CDM. Um, St. Maximum, of course, I want to keep around. Hopefully, he uh, he can be like the shining light of the rest of this season. But yeah, we're going to have to pick this team apart a little bit here. Definitely. Callum Wilson is fit. Let's take a cheeky look at the stats and see who's been bagging the goals for us. And it is, of course, Callum Wilson with 12 goals. Richie's up there. Dwight Gale, who will be sold instantly. Uh, we'll be leaving the club. We've got Jacob Murphy up there. It's not looking very bright when Rayleigh, Callum Wilson on 12 goals. The rest haven't scored much halfway stage of this season. Joel Linton, of course, probably leaving the team as well. So now it's up to me to go and bring some players in and move some players out. There are a few that I just think would be perfect for Newcastle in this situation as well. So let's go and make some of these deals instantly. When I look at this team, I just noticed that there are so many aging centre-backs and just centre-backs that shouldn't really be at this club. That that's going to be the first player that I go in for. I've heard cheeky rumours in real life that this could be a potential player that they do go for. And we're going to go for him straight away. We're probably going to have to pay over the odds for most of these players, which I will definitely do as well. I've got no issue paying over the odds because, let's be honest, Newcastle in real life, all the prices for players they have are going to be inflated now. So let's bring in James Tarkovsky and he's going to be leading the way. I think English is definitely going to be something that we look at for the first couple of seasons. He's not the only player, though, that Newcastle have been linked with this man heavily, and this will probably be that statement signing that we need, the one that's the marquee signing that says, we are here and we mean business, and that is Mauro Icardi. He's not having a great time at the moment for PSG. I'm a big fan of him because I loved him when he was at Inter, though the Inter fans didn't always love him. And we're going to go and try and rescue him now from PSG. 
and bring him to Newcastle. I want 50 million and I will accept that easy peasy. That's two signings in straight away, basically, and two very good signings. Two statement signings, to be honest with you. Cardi will definitely help Wilson up top and Tarkovsky just instantly improves that terrible bat line that we've got. We do have a youth team as well, actually, to start, but none of them are good. I'm assuming the future star left the youth team throughout the simulation to get to the halfway point of the season. And uh, yeah, these are all rubbish. Now, what I did notice, though, is the Newcastle youth team shirt is different to the actual shirt. I like that. That's a really cool addition. Didn't know that was a thing. Now, we are going to try and fix this want away horrendous midfield with James Ward-Prowse, a player who I think would actually go to Newcastle. Given the right amount of money, this could be a huge future signing. They're going to drive a hard bargain. I'm going to go for 40 and see if they will accept it. Ward Prowse for 40, I think, is a great deal. But before we can get him in, we're going to actually play this game against Southampton. Would you believe it? We will be playing against Ward Prowse in this one, who hopefully will be joining the team very soon. I will go with the tactic that's been set up straight away, and we'll just see what it's like. So we are going to be trying potential players that we might actually keep around at the club today and just see how they get on against this Southampton team. I'm not sure how long we'll play this formation for, but we'll give it a good go. Well, you can imagine right now, if you're a Newcastle player... And you know there's going to be a huge turnaround. There's going to be a huge turnaround of players that you certainly want to put in a good performance today. Players like Almiron, St. Maximin will probably be excited about this situation because they're potential players that will get extra game time and be able to play with better footballers in the coming future. And Keo there into Willock. Willock turns that in. It's very neat. But we couldn't find the finish. Oh, here comes Southampton already. And hopefully the leaky back line isn't going to cause me issues. But it is. Adam Armstrong will make it 1-0 Southampton. Well, not the start I wanted as manager, but it's not unexpected. The back line has been awful this year for them. It's been awful again for me. And Keon now fires that one in. Callum Wilson coming into the box. Couldn't get his head on it. Oh, here comes Southampton again. And although we've dominated possession, there's been no cutting edge, which Adam Armstrong does have, and that'll be 2-0 Southampton. We just don't have a bat line, do we? The players are non-existent back there. The sooner we get tax in, the better. Now we've got space. Space to run into again for Mankio, who's probably been the biggest danger man so far. St. Maxim is in there. Almiron can header it over the bar. Oh, they're in again now. Armstrong could be on for a hat trick. Again, the defence is not doing too well, but Dubravka will make a first save of the game. Can't really say my first half of Newcastle managers going as I would have wanted it to go, but probably as expected. Here they come. Wall Prowse hits the crossbar, and Armstrong will get his hat trick. Wall Prowse, of course, hopefully one of our players soon. But Adam Armstrong with a hat trick. If they expected an instant boost because a new manager had come in, they were sadly mistaken because they've not got that at all. And I don't think we'll be playing this formation again, though. I've really struggled. Look now. Plays that up to Wilson. Back to Willock. Willock back across to Wilson. Oh, he forces a save. And that's the first shot we've had on target all day. The problem is right now is there's no space for anyone. St. Maximum. Willock, oh, I just want our first goal under management. It's time to give a few others the opportunity, isn't it? And we'll see how they get on. But half of this team that's played today, I don't expect to be playing come next season. I'll be happy when we get some reinforcements because if that's a sign of the rest of the season, Yorkie will be getting sacked before you know it, just like Steve Bruce. Not an ideal situation. I think the first thing we'll be doing there is changing the formation. I'm not quite sure what to because we don't really have any decent wingers. So it's probably going to have to be some form of diamond, maybe like that for the meantime, because like I say, zero wingers. So we will play a 4-1-2-1-2 narrow. So we can get two of the players done and dusted and in the building, and that's a big help for us. Akadi joins and so does Tarkovsky. Huge, huge upgrades to positions at the moment. Tarkovsky will come in straight away and hopefully form a decent partnership with Lascelles. Cardi will play up top next to Wilson with St. Maximum just behind. Here we go then. James Ward-Prowse joining the club as well. He's just in his side beat Newcastle, so hopefully the big wage rise will help ease that pain. Finally get to move some players out of the club. Ryan Frazier has left. He's just never done it here. He's always been injured. It's just, you know, the drill. Gillespie leaves as well. Dummett is going to go on a free at the end of the season. There's a few players that will probably be doing the same thing. And then Shah has been sold. Uh, Shah's okay, but he's not good enough for us anymore. Fernandez also making his way out of the club now as well. First home game here then under the reins of Yorkie Man. And with the three new additions, surely this can't go any worse than the first match. Callum Wilson making a bit of a run here. Good ball for McCarty. I got 1-0 up. That'd be lovely. Callum Wilson with the shot miles wide. That's not a good sign. Who's going to get my first goal in management here? Aiden there. It's found Willock. Willock finds a card. He fires off the shot and saved by Gillespie. Shockingly, we've just sold Gillespie. Imagine if he makes a mistake for our first goal. We could say we paid him. Willock finds a card. 
Good footwork from Akadi. Got Lewis out wide. Lewis inside to Wilson. I thought Callum Wilson was about to score my first goal in charge. Oh, here come Watford. They haven't had a single opportunity yet, but it'd be just my luck if they scored the first one we got, and it's going to be a defensive mistake that will lead to Watford's goal. And it is the first attack that they've really had in the game. And we're 1-0 down. Here comes Willock. Footwork. Plays in set maximum. Back across. Sakadi Wilson. It's off Akadi. We just can't find our first goal, can we? It's just not coming, and that'll be the half-time whistle, and we're 1-0 down. Well, Prowse did brilliantly there to win the ball back. To maximum now. He wants options. He's going to get it in Akadi, and surely you would be saying that this is Akadi's first goal for Newcastle. And it is Akadi's first goal for Newcastle. A sign of things to come, potentially, from that man. Well, look there. That's a great ball. Mankio. Into Callum Wilson. Oh, saved by Gillespie. Oh, that's a great ball in. Near post, and he scores it. Sissoko, 2-1. Here come Watford again now. King. Out wide. We've actually offensively probably been the better team. We've created a lot of chances, just not scored them, and King nearly made it free. Great ball in. It lands to King, and Manquillo off the line. And again, oh, just wide. Two games, two defeats. Sakadi, though, managing to score a goal. And to be fair, that was a better performance. Still awful defensively, though. Shocking defensive display. So I am going to go out and sign Lewis Dunk. He's been an unbelievable defender for Brighton. And now, hopefully, he's going to come in and be a fantastic defender for Newcastle. He's a ready-now kind of player. And we need that. I had to play a youngster in that last game because Lascelles was tired. Didn't work out for me. Surely our first win now with Newcastle. We're going for wingers. I'm going for it. I just feel like I can't play this game without having wingers on the pitch. Let's go and hopefully beat Leeds United, which is gutting, but we need a win from somewhere. We've got a majestic evening here at Ellen Road and hopefully picking up our first victory. We are going with wingers in this one, boys, because I just can't live without them. I really can. Ward Prowse, Akadi, and the main man Tarkowski starting again. Hopefully three points in the bag or maybe Yorkie gets sacked before we even get to the end of the window here come Leeds Harrison and 1-0 Leeds United within the space of seven minutes this is not going to plan for us boys this is not going to plan Yorkie's getting sacked in the morning sacked in the morning Yorkie's getting sacked in the morning that's what they'll be singing boys that's what they'll be singing as we look like we could get sacked here the way we're playing. We just can't get out of our own box here at the moment. And Patrick Bamford will make it two. And this is an absolute shambles of a side. What's going on with the back line? Can't get worse than this, can it? Maybe they beat us three or four nil. This is a terrible performance on one side, though. I'm very happy to see Leeds doing well. well they're cutting me wide open again. Dan James is in. This could be free. Dan James, it's saved by Dubravka. But they're going to get to it first. 2-0 down at half-time, and I'm already feeling like potentially we need to sell the entire team. This is awful. Richie, and St. Maximum. And St. Maximum. Play that in. Callum Wilson. Callum Wilson can't do nothing with it, though. Leeds are defending really well. Patrick Bamford, oh my God, they've undone me again, and it's going to be 3-0, boys. Newcastle are in the mud. Let's go, St. Maximum. Let's go, St. Maximum. I ain't giving that to Almiron. Oh, I should have given it to Almiron. I should have given it to Almiron. Will it now? Surely. Oh, saved by Meslier. I just can't score, boys. No fight, no passion, no bat line, to be honest with you. But the worst part is we've scored one goal in three games here with Newcastle. We're actually going to have a massive fight on our hands if we think we're going to stay up this season. We might be spending this big mountain of cash in the championship. Shocking that. Leads the better by a country mile. Seven shots to our two. We were absolutely awful. We slipped all the way to the bottom of the table now. And you can imagine the new owners are thinking, what the bloody hell have we hired? Because still only three wins on the season. Six draws and three defeats for Yorkie. 14 in total. One positive is that we're going to sign Lewis Dunk now for a three-year contract. And hopefully he comes in and just stops us conceding ridiculous amounts of goals. Eight goals in three games just is not good enough. There we go then, guys. That's going to be it for this one. What a terrible start to this season here with Newcastle. Just not going very well for Yorkie at the minute. I need your help now. Give me suggestions of players that we can spend money on. Try and keep them realistic. Players that you think right now Newcastle should be going for with the mountain of cash that they've got. And hopefully in the next one, we can turn it around a little bit. We're going to start churning through the months now. This one will be very fast-paced and we'll get through a lot of games. I want to be pounding through the seasons very, very quickly. But anyway, I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you very much for watching. Again, if you are new around here, please smash that subscribe 
subscribe button as well as hitting the like button. Take it easy. I'll see you all later.